Alright guys, so we just washed the cars. They look so good right now. I just have to show it to you. Show my cousin's car as well. So that is his car. We just cleaned it up. I'm gonna zoom in real quick for y'all. Look how clean that looks. This is mine. We just, you can see the gold, purple, and blue. Look at the roof. Finally cleaned it for the first time. Hey, dryer. You want to dryer for the race, right? Should. Guys, this is a car wash. Look at the rims. Even put tire shine. Look at me overdoing it today. Looking so fine. Don't worry, the hood's open. What happened? The air dryer. Okay, well. Hold on one sec. Showing off my car, boy. Alright, as I was saying, guys. Now, who cares about his car? No one likes the Nissans on this channel, right, guys? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so um, today I'm also, we just cleaned up the cars. I know it's kind of a weird start to the video, but we're also doing the cabin filter replacement. Uh, we're basically just replacing it. And they said if you do it every single year, it's just healthier for the air, the AC, healthier for the, the engine, you know, just, just better off for the car. The, you know, the air filter is like 20, 30 bucks. So I'm gonna show you guys how to replace it and you guys should do that every single year to your car. It's a maintenance thing you should do every single year to your car. Most people don't do it. So let me show you guys how to do it in your E90. All right guys, so my cousin is basically gonna be doing a little bit of a wrap to his 350Z right now while I'm gonna be putting him in my cabin filter. Look at that booty. Alrighty, so if you look over here, this logo, when you bought the car, it just looks a little bit ugly. So we're gonna try to wrap it black, see how it looks, if we can do it, and um, show you guys how that looks. And then my my other cousin is gonna help me with the cabin filter on this car. All right, so my cousin's starting on the wrap back there, if you guys can see, and uh, we're starting with the cabin filter. So this is what you should do. We're just doing this for our first times as well, so obviously I'll cut it out if it's done wrong. There's two screws right there. He's taking them out. So there's oh, one screw no. over here, you see right there, not that one, this one, and there's one right over here on both sides. Make sure you get all four of those out, and that should just release the cabin filter, we'll see. So if you guys don't know, this is Ibrahim, this is Yusuf's brother, if you guys don't know him yet. No, no, I told you, I'm not going to be in the video. I mean, of course you're going to be in the video. Later, I'm going to get When I get my Mustang, remember? You guys heard that, he's in a Mustang. <laughs> but right now he's rocking the BMW head, big support. How did I actually quit my face? People like it when naturally have your face in it. All right, so this is pretty much, we're opening it up right now. So he's basically taking it off. We took off all the screws and the cabin filter is right there. You just replace that, you know, take it off the tabs and that should be it. So we're gonna replace it, put it back on and see if it's just, you know, plug and play. Uh, so you're just yeah, gonna yeah, stop yeah, it back yeah, on yeah. with the tabs. Wait. What? Like that. that just doesn't make any sense. Lift it, lift it. Hey guys, so basically, you just put it in there. You got to put a little bit of pressure. Um, the colorful side is facing down. You got to push in a little bit of pressure in, and then you look on this side, and it just tabs. Line it up, push in the tabs, and just click it in there. It should be that easy. And then all you got to do is just put it back on, screw it in, and then you're good for a whole year. All right, guys, so. We just clean this up over here just to make it more cleaner and then he's going to put that right back on. Again, it shouldn't be any tabs, you just set it there. Those should line up. It should go in there, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so he's going to put that in there and then that middle thing should go over you, but I'm thing in the middle. This should sit over like Uh uh. And then you just screw it all in. So once you put it all in there, Screw it in, and you're done. That's it. It's easy. It's easy as that. That's why you got to do it once a year. Um, you know. All right, guys. So before I finish the video with the, you know, with the filter, we're gonna clean up the engine bay. Might as well look it up, make it look nice. So we're gonna wipe it down with our towels. He's already starting it real quick. Slimy, so slimy. No, no, that's what. No, no. I mean, we're fasting. That's, yeah, that's why. No energy. Alright guys, so he's wiping it all down. It's already looking a lot better. Got the engine bay. See, that's all dusty. This is all dusty. We gotta clean it all up and then maybe some waxing to uh, make it have that little shine to it, factory look. So I uh, will show you guys how it looks before and after and a little bit of progress in between. Nice Alright, so he's put a little bit on the towel and then he's pretty much just waxing the whole thing. Here's where the music kicks in. Dude, they, see, they should see the car for So we high, I wanna see this shine. Dude, it looks so much better already since we got all the dust off of it. 
it's not a have to. Some people will tell you eventually when you get your car oil changed and whatever, they're gonna tell you you should. Um, you know, it's just a cheap thing to do. It's 25 bucks, send a ticket to a shop and they're gonna warn you. They're like, oh, this is really needs to be done right now. You're gonna be spending extra 100 bucks out of pocket. And especially it's a BMW, so God knows how much you would pay out of pocket. All right, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one. Hey.